thanks for the memory. Well, punk, you gotta go for it. There is a subtle justice in life to play after all. Stop it, Hunter. It hurts when I laugh. I don't believe this. The timing is perfect. This is too good to be true. Don't worry about it, guys. We'll take it. No job is too scummy and all that. We're here to serve this community. Those two guys are weird. No. That's just the head hunter and the brass cupcake and they make their own kind of music. This is L-56, Hunter and McCall, mid-watch clear. L-56, mid-watch clear. What do you say we hightail it out of here and head for that land of plenty I've done heard of? Well, it works for me. Pedal to the metal. 89 bottles of beer on the wall. 89 bottles of beer. If one of those oh, bottles should happen, happen to fall. fall. 88 bottles of beer on the wall. 88 bottles of beer on the wall. 88 bottles of beer on the wall. If one of those bottles should happen to fall. 87 bottles of beer on the wall. 87 bottles of beer on the wall. 87 bottles of beer on the wall. Finished with that report? Look, I don't want to bug you, McCall, but I figured uh, if you got finished there in time, you could go to dinner with me. My treat. Hunter, I will ruin my fingernails and my eyesight typing your report, but I'm not going to destroy my stomach by eating your junk food, even if you do spring for it. I'm not talking junk food here, McCall. I'm talking Maine lobster dinner with all the trimmings. Green salad, French fries, a bottle of imported French wine. What do you say? What's the catch? Catch? There's no catch. I just thought we'd celebrate our success. But if that's how little you trust me, then forget it. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. You're right, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you want to have dinner, fine. I would be happy to, I'd be honored to have dinner with you. Great. Carmine Santoro, what is in this basket, Hunter? None of your concern, Bernie. It is against regulations to accept gifts from known criminals, Hunter. I have to find out what's in this basket. Bernie, don't. You lost. Yeah, lobster dinner if I cook it. Works for me. You guys will come see me, won't you? We sure will. You bet you're roughy. Just as soon as you get into your new foster home. And you'll be sure to tell them where, huh, Miss Rankin? Of course. It's time to go. Give me a hug. You take care, huh? You too. Bye. Bye. Be good. So long, Ruffy. You too, big guy. Ow! Bert, there ought to be a law. Good riddance. Kids and animals don't belong in a police station anyway. Bernie, you better get a shot for that right away, otherwise you might come down with spike and noses of the mucket. You must really think I'm stupid, don't you, Hunter? Well, when you've got me, you've got me, Bernie. <laughs> Hunter, you ever think about having kids? No. Me either. I bet you thought you'd never see that again. It began to cross my mind, especially after you got teamed up with Don Warren. <laughs> well, fortunately, I managed to get rid of him in time. So where is he these days? Looking for new partners? Probably out getting his pants dry clean. 
What? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, Hunter, so where's the new car? Captain said he was going to issue you one. It should be parked right in front of the motor pool. I don't believe this. I mean, where do they get these? Looks like it went through a firebombing. I nearly get killed in prison, and a guy doesn't have the decency to give me a car that runs. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. Just because it doesn't have a back end. That's it. What? I'm gonna go back up there and make this jackass give me a new car. Oh, come on, Hunter. Do it tomorrow. Let's go have dinner. I don't want to have dinner. Well, what do you want to do? Go home and sit by the TV and be depressed? Hi, I'm having some car trouble. Could you help me out or show me a phone so I could call the auto club? Oh, no. Come on, McCall, let's go get that dinner. You dare, actually dare to put in a request for another vehicle. After arranging it with that car company so that we have to reimburse them for damages done to two, count them two luxury sedans, you got some sense of humor, Hunter. And he complimented us on the apprehension of Panhandle Pete in connection with the bank robbery and locating a missing $100,000. And get this, he was hoping that you would feel better and that your ribs would soon mend. You are a terrible liar. No, I'm not. I'm a great liar. If he was in such a great mood and so beholden to us, then why didn't you hit him up for a car? Ah, you see, McCall, I wouldn't do that. There's simply no reason to ask for another car. We don't need another car. There's nothing wrong with this car. There was nothing wrong with the other car. Nothing that couldn't be fixed by a little tune-up. Or a crusher. You see, McCall, it's not the fiddle. It's who's playing it. think? <laughs> I'll tell you what. This time he's got us right where he wants us. He's gonna nail us, Hunter. You think so? Hunter, McCall. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> no, don't sit down. You won't be here long enough to get comfortable. Mr. Harvey has presented a list of charges against you two and given them to the department, including willful and reckless disregard for the safety of a state's witness, obstruction of justice, dereliction of duty, etc., etc., ad infinitum. The list goes on and on and on. Well, there were some extenuating circumstances, Captain. Any one of these charges is grounds for dismissal from the force. But taken together, they represent a malfeasance of a magnitude I have never seen in all my years as a police officer. Don't drag it out, Captain. Just give us the bad news. I'm giving it to you, Hunter. The DA has decided since you two enabled the county to preempt the state's case against Demers and invalidate the immunity it promised Gavin, they'll drop their charges and return for a reprimand. That's the bad news? No, oh, it is for me. It means I have to continue to put up with the both of you. Hey, but I'm warning you. The slightest infraction, you guys bend the rules at all, and I swear I will come down on you so hard, 